Okay, so now it's time to do all of our fret work and set the guitar up so that it plays in tune and plays really well. As I mentioned before, some of these guitars, they have, they have minor manufacturing flaws that we can fix with some simple tools. As you can see, I've started to mask off the fretboard because as we work with files, we want to affect the metal, but we don't want to affect the wood. So it's just as easy as just laying that down on there, making sure that the fret stays exposed. So now the first tool we're gonna to use is this little device right here, and it's called a fret rocker. What it's designed to do is it's designed to span three frets. Now, if we had a manufacturing problem and this fret was actually taller than the ones beside it, then the guitar wouldn't play right. So we set this in place just like this, and we just gently try and rock it. This is good, there's no movement. The, the, the fret rocker stays in place. Then we'll move down and we'll try this one. Okay, right at this point, we've got some rocking going on right here. So that tells me all three frets are not quite lined up straight. Okay, now the problem could be that this is a high fret or this one could be a low fret, or this one could be a low fret. So we have to move down the neck and paint an entire picture. So that's why I've got my pencil right here. I'm gonna put a little H here, and a little H in the middle, a little H on this end. That tells me that as I tested this, this one was a little high. So now I'll span these and see what, our, see what my results are. Okay, nothing's happening. I've got a little bit of rocking in the center and a little bit of rocking on the edge. I'll put an H here and an H here. Then I'm gonna go to my next set. I had a little bit of rocking here, but not actually, you know what? It, was, it really wasn't that much, so I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about that. So as you can see, the frets are getting closer together. So instead of using this edge, I'm gonna to switch to this edge. And I'm gonna go like this, that's pretty good, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Okay, so when I go back to this section right here, I see that I've got some H's here and a couple of H's here. So that tells me that these frets are just a little higher than the rest of them. What'll happen when you, when you try and play a string, the string will actually touch the fret and it will buzz. So this is why we wanna get rid of them. So if we go, to our fret leveling file, we can make a nice pass. This surface is perfectly flat, and if I were to move this fret, or move the file across the frets, it should only pick up the high spots of this fret and make them all the same height. So a, a nice gentle movement like so would actually do it. Now I'm not going to do it because to do the job properly, you will mask off all the way to the end and you'll assess the entire neck. Because if I was to use this file in this area only, that means I'm going to lower all of these frets and these ones are going to remain high. If you use this tool, then the tool has to move all the way from this end, all the way to that end in one stroke. And then it's got to move all the way to that end in one stroke. Now this is in the way. So perhaps the better idea would be to go this way, this way. And much like when we used this tool before, nice light pressure is required. 